Hey, this is Dautufas here, and in this video, I will attempt to fix my Fluke 87 multimeter. What happened is about a week ago, I was using it to test the ground in my vehicle uh, as I was doing an install, and I noticed I couldn't get a zero reading on it. So, I shorted out the two leads, which means that there's no resistance and the reading should be zero. But, I got this number that was jumping around all over the place, and I'll show you what I mean. So, I'll turn this on put it into the resistance measurement and then if I short this you see that number? it is jumping all over the place and normally it should give you a zero reading, 0, 0.0 another thing I notice is if I put this onto the measurement for dialed without anything connected this should give me a 0L display on here but right now as you can see it's giving me a 1.25 volt reading on it so I knew something was going on with the meter, but I wasn't sure what it is. So from the user manual, you know, it tells you to check the fuse. Uh, there are two fuses inside this uh, unit. There's one F1 fuse here. There's an F2 fuse right here. And it's quite simple to check. So I check the fuse by setting this to the resistance measurement, taking the positive probe, and just probing it into the current plug right here and it didn't show me a 0.0, .0 ohm like it should so that tells me F1 fuse was open I removed the test lead turn this over and you'll find three Phillips screw now this Fluke 87 I have here is an older generation Fluke 87 from many years ago so yours uh, might be a little different just keep that in mind remove the three Phillips screw here To open this, all you have to do is separate the top and the bottom. And here you see the two fuses, this F1, this F2. So earlier, definitely this one is uh, blown because it was open circuit and I couldn't get a reading on this. I'm going to remove this fuse, give you a closer look. This one is made by uh, Busman, that's a company, and the model number on this is BBS-1. So if you need to replace it, this is the specific model number you need to find and replace it into this multimeter. As to the problem with doing the resistance measurement, I went online, did some research, and I found that there is a fusible resistor that's in series with this positive lead and this is a protective component that prevents damage to the meter so if you had say uh, the measurement set to resistance and let's say you accidentally put in a high voltage into that lead this fusible resistor will actually burn up and prevent further damage to the rest of the multimeter in the Fluke 87 service manual this component is described as a 1K ohm metal film 2 watt fusible resistor. Let me pull the circuit board out to give you a better look at this component. So here, see this brown component here that looks like a resistor? This is the fusible 1K ohm resistor. Now to test this is very easy. You can get a multimeter and probe the two leads and you should get 1K. For the fusible resistor, I found something comparable to what's originally in there. And you're looking at the new part that I got. This is made by a company called NTE. I bought these parts from an electronic store called Moyer Electronic out of Pennsylvania. This one is a fusible power oxide 1K ohm 2 watt resistor. And for the fuse, this is the BBS-1 by Busman, so this is the exact replacement that I need. And the price was reasonable. This fusible resistor is a dollar, and the fuse for one of these is $5.87. So plus shipping of $6, it came to about $12, uh, $13. I'll put a link in the description for their website so you can go to them and order these parts if you need it so right now I'll go and desolder 
that fusible resistor and then put in this replacement part. Okay, so you can see the component fell right out. Let me give you a quick comparison of the two components. So here's the one that I removed and I'm measuring the resistance on this. And again, this should be 1K resistance. As you can see, is wide open right now. Here's the replacement part. That's 0.991K ohm. So that's a new part installed. Also, we'll go ahead and install the replacement fuse right here. And let's put this back together. Now that everything's put back together, let's go through a couple of tests. I'm going to test the resistance measurement by shorting out the two test lead. And now you can see it's measuring 0 0.6, 0 0.5, but the numbers are not jumping around like before. So it is measuring the resistance properly when it's shorted out. Let's go over to the diode measurement. Earlier, remember you saw 1.2, I think, 1.2 volt on it. Now, without anything connected, is 0L. It tells you that it's open and there's no current draw on this. Well, I'm very glad that I was able to fix it and it didn't cost a lot of money because I really like this multimeter. And for those of you who might be having similar problem with the Fluke 87, I hope this video can help you in fixing your multimeter. Anyways, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.